Hey everyone, I'm Jenna Knox. I am the mother of a three-year-old toddler and 11-month-old triplets that we actually didn't know we were having until less than a month before I gave birth. So if you haven't heard the story of our hidden surprise triplet, be sure to check that out on our pregnancy videos and subscribe to our channel because we are updating it weekly with glimpses of our life and new chapters of our story. And today I'm going to tell the story. We're going to put a spotlight on our sweet, sweet boy, Liam, and how he went from being a two-year-old with really no idea what was about to happen to him to being a three-year-old boy who's just the best big brother that these triplets could ever ask for. One of the most common questions I got after the babies were born were, um, was how was Liam doing and how is he handling the adjustment? We were really, really lucky. He handled the change incredibly well. We tried to prep him for it as much as we could. He was just two when we found out we were pregnant. And once I, you know, once my belly started showing, we t started to talk about, you know, baby sister. Um, we thought we were just having one baby at that time. And um, my mom got him a baby doll for his two-year-old birthday that he could practice and play with and a stroller. Um, for him to push her around in. He really enjoyed that. We got him books about being a big brother. And then once I found out later in the pregnancy that it, there was more than one baby, twins we thought, um, I really tried to drill it into his brain. Like, we have two, you're gonna have two baby sisters and look at mommy's belly. How many babies are there? Two baby sisters. Over and over and over and over again. I still don't think he quite got it. And then once of course, right before we had the babies and we found out there were actually three of them. It was, oh my gosh, Liam, you know, how many babies are there? Three baby sisters. And whether it was one, two, or three, I really don't think he had any clue really about what was coming. Um, but like I said, we got really lucky. Once the babies came home, he's always been really sweet with him. We never saw any major behavior issues pop up, um, which we're grateful for. He did get really clingy to me a lot, which I think was perfectly normal. I literally had three babies attached to me, so he was going to want to know that he was still important and loved and that I was still there for him. So it was hard in the beginning. Um, his dad, Kyle, my husband, did an amazing job of, of really picking up a lot of the slack with Liam when I just um, needed my priority to be on those three um, preemie babies. So Kyle was the one to try to keep things as consistent as possible for him. He would take him to school, take him to swim class, take him on outings, riding his bike around the neighborhood, um, taking him to the zoo, the park. Um, and I would just try to give him whatever moments of my day that I could, when I could, give him some cuddles, tell him how much I loved him. Um, I think it kind of helped that I had three baby girls and so I could still tell him how he was my special, special boy. He would always be my most special little boy. And um, another thing I remember that really helped um, when he would start to get upset when I couldn't be with him, if I was doing, you know, feeding um, the babies or putting them down for their bedtime, and there was, I knew there was going to be a big chunk of time that I couldn't be with him. Um, I just sat him down one day and I told him, I said, you know, Liam, there's going to be some times where I have to be with your baby sisters for a while, but you just have to know that I am always going to come back. I'm always going to come back for you. And I said that over and over again, you know, mom, mama always comes back. And eventually he got it. And I would be, you know, during the witching hour days with the girls, I would be with them sometimes for one or two hours while somebody else was watching them. And I would come back down the stairs just haggard and tired and I'd see his mom smiling face and he'd tell me, you always come back. So he really started to get it. One thing that was really cool to see um, once the three babies were home and so much of um, Kyle's and my attention was on taking care of those three babies all the time. Um, one day completely on his own, I think it was on Mother's Day or Mother's Day weekend, 
he got out his baby doll and started emulating the way we took care of the babies and he would do the same thing with his baby doll he'd take the blanket wrap her up he'd say oh no she has poop and he'd take her over to the changing table to change her diaper and put cream on her and um, that was really cool to see that come full circle from when I was pregnant and giving him practice with this baby sister to be able to use that to then feel involved um, once the babies came home Once he turned about three years old, the girls were about six months old. I think the, you know, the girls were older to where he could really interact and play with them more. And he was also, you know, maturing and um, leaving, you know, the baby phases behind and really becoming a little boy. And that's when I really started to see connections form between him and his sisters. And it was so amazing to see. He would love to give them hugs and kisses and play with them and show them how to do things. He would like to read them books. And the girls just absolutely adore him. When he is in the room, I mean, they're like magnets to him. They wanna see what he's doing, where he's going. They'll follow him around. They just smile and laugh. And he loves just jumping around and being a goofball and just making them laugh their heads off. So it, it, it turned into something really special to see the bond forming between Liam and his baby sisters and he took a lot of pride in being the best big brother ever. so you can play with your baby sister. Do you want to give her a hug and a kiss too? What do you think about your baby sisters? I'm walking in the new stroller. Oh, you like walking in the new stroller with your baby sisters? Yeah! And what are your baby sisters' names? Um, Baby and Cecilia. And who else? And Lily. And Lily. Do you love your baby sisters? I do! This is so funny. After the girls were born, when um, people would ask Liam what his baby sister's names were, he would tell them that they are Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, which I guess makes him Peter Rabbit. Um, but yeah, he does know their names now, which is good to know. Are you a good big brother? I am. Are you the best big brother ever? How do you help mama with baby sisters? Help them at bath time. What else? Do you read them stories? I do. Do you sing them songs? Do you push their stroller? Yeah. Are you my good boy? I am. Can I have a kiss? In addition to Baby Beluga, Liam sometimes likes to serenade his sisters on the piano with a little song that he made up called Poo Poo on the Potty, something very relevant um, to him. Let's play, play it for us. sisters allowed in here? No. Why not? Yeah, not allowed. Why not? Yeah, quiet. 
Hey, what's your name? Minya. How do you spell your name?